Hi guys and girls, welcome back. We just basically quickly turn the volume down. Just a tap on the music. I think I've got it quite down a little bit. Yeah, but I'm making sure it's not too loud, but enough for you guys to hear and So if it's the music, I can turn that down. And about sixty percent. Shush. Sure, sure, okay, so this is episode five, um, and we're recording this in thirty-eight forty twenty-one sixty. Resolution about 75. Pretty much, I'm testing on different settings to see what we get frame rate, uh, frame rate wise. Um, so this is with the 2080, and we are at this. Uh, it's almost like a cyberpunk style world. It's quite interesting as well. Very colourful. Very, very colourful. And it's going to dip a lot because we're doing it in 4K on a 2080, which is like pushing it a lot. And you can see how my friends are getting like 23 frames. The shadow's looking a bit sluggish and everything else. So I'm going to be testing out different sort of um, settings. Just see what we get smooth wise. I've put this at 30 FPS for the recording because I've got to try and sort of get that nice 30 FPS. So, RTX 2080. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the settings to high. Using motion pro that tool really actually just takes away the experience. Uh, was it sets the quality of ambient occlusion? We'll put that on low. Uh, grass quality, medium contact shadows. Sets the quality of contact shadows. We'll put medium. Keep V sync um, on. Sharpening, I keep on 70%. Film grain turned off because I don't like using that much, but. Hello. 
okay, it's a little bit smoother. I mean, it's the best we're going to probably get it for the 2080 at 4K, unless we actually dip down. I should do it go this way. You should see my little frame rates at the top, like what I'm getting wires and stuff. GPU utilization 97%, 98%. Jesus, that's a lot. Neon's got an energy to it like no other. Okay, can we get down? Do we have to get down this way? How do we get in here? Ah, there it is. Here we go. Uh, GPU temperature is 76. Uh, it's about normal, I think, for a graphics card. Maybe even get higher up to like the 80s, 90s. Even. How many gets to it. It's more like cyberpunk, to be honest. There, uh, this whole game. The Starfield. A free star ranger. And he's... What are you? A sidekick or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. This is the deputy. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, so basically okay, she's wanted uh, so in the star system for going around nicking ships, oh, so I've had to basically like, gonna try and take her in, because we've been trying to find her. So this the is the bit of the story at the moment. All right. So my GPU so power usage at the moment is 215 I didn't even watts. Keep it. it was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows voltage, where. Voltage one voltage. Nothing I did put anyone in danger. GPU okay? temperatures 80 degrees at the minute. Jesus, there's been tried to run a farmer off her land. That's unfortunate, but I don't know anything about it. Render latency. You know how it is, I'm not too you? sure if that's like uh, good or me. not. 43 You're real cold, to 47, 58 or something. If that Goes woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to And murder. then 99 that. frames I... per second. No. Or FPS at 28 frames per second. But we are getting uh, 37 FPS, it says that at the minute. It's not that simple. Yeah, sure they do. So she'd better tell me what I want to know or things could get ugly for you. Hold on now. I'm still thinking about it. I don't care how badly you need it. I'm not telling you. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? <laughs> I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed. So I'm at GPU uh, clock 1920 megahertz. That's not bad though. I mean, ago. memory. Clock like 7,000 megahertz. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Uh. Yeah, sure. 
Oh, so we're not going to rest her and you're take at her the in. Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm going to head back. Good luck, deputy. Then I'm free to go. Hey, you don't need to tell me twice. <laughs> ah, there should have been an option that said, no, actually, you're not free to go. All right, let's rest her. <laughs> need to find those maps. Later. All right. So today it is Tuesday, the 5th of September, guys. It goes half past 12, midnight already, so... I wasn't doing anything. Uh, let's just get out of here. This, so this planet's called Neon. And you can tell why it's called Neon, because uh, the planet's got loads of neon lights. Oh wow, look how bright that is. And they've all got like, sort of the cyberpunk style clothes on. So that's pretty cool. Okay, what's this? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm going to do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza back before to the Bayou disciples. Plaza before the disciples. What? Uh, a gang. Worst gang there is. Worst gang there is. They'll stab, stab you for you kicks, for taking kicks, bets on how long you squeal. On how long you squeal. What's that? Squeal. That's not a hypo. What? Okay. Uh, I thought I can. Hey, it's your ass, not mine, on the line. <laughs> Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful. I mean, it's a pretty good game, solid, but obviously, I mean, they need some work on the graphics. And I wish they weren't just hold up. And also, they need that um, streets are getting bad. DLSS uh, super sampling on there. Well, you find them at Madame Sabage's. Um, because a lot of it's actually this game. I would say is pretty much been made for the AMD so, cards rather than actually uh, NVIDIA for a donation. and this is the reason on, why we're getting low frame life. rates as well what with the disciples and all you have a heart <laughs> story of my life okay Bobby's, Bobby's gun's gonna probably beat me up now or something. Oh, yeah, okay, we've got a left. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a lovely day. I'm just only doing like a, a short uh, episode for part five. I'll tell you what, I love the music in this the soundtrack. I mean, look how beautiful this massive tower that they've actually built made it into like a cyber city. Just on this one planet. This is just one planet, don't forget. Uh, but this is not like an entire planet. This is like a planet inside the sort of sky, basically. This got a feel for it, at least on that. Okay, we're doing 30 FPS, and then it says 99 frames per 99 percent, or of frames per second is 19 frames per second. So. It's not too bad considering this is a very intense game and it's not really been optimized very much. So. Also, the HDR is really terrible on it, and they were saying apparently it's not actually HDR, or they haven't put HDR in. So it's, it's sad that they haven't done it to that point because it's, this is a ray tracing card anyway. So. Ray tracing is good, but well, that's probably what's taken up a lot of the frames as well with the ray tracing. Dad, have you ever tried a board? Orbital search completed. Oh. Oh. I'm sure.
sure it'd get to to the point where it'd be like cyberpunk at some point. That's it's Okay, let's go like? here. Uh, oh, we've got to go to a killer city. A killer city. Again. So this little graph at the left top corner is the performance overlay. Uh, it just tells you a bit terrible. about what's in computer, what megahertz is doing. How much draw power it's actually taken out, fan-wise, GPU-wise, CPU-wise. I mean, to be honest, it's only using like 39, 40%, 50% of the CPUs, which is not even like that much, to be honest. Okay, now it's gone down to 25 frames per second. Probably because it be in a city and stuff, so... Let's see if I... That's why we need that DLSS. A 3.5 would be preferable. have gone up slightly. I mean if we can get the DLSS on here this would actually increase the frames I'd say probably maybe 10 or 15 frames extra if we're lucky. New deputy huh? New deputy. Hey I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little ah, mystery sweet slate. Little mystery. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. I see lots of coffee. If you get any more of these, goes. bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the top. Oh, let's go the wrong way. Go back to the top. So this way. That's not that way. No. So there's there. So actually, how to go to the top? What is there an actual? Oh, there we go. Found it. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. A start. What did you learn from the starship thief? Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert, expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next. So yeah, all I'm doing at the moment is just just um, like what? sort of. Check Most in on the be, graphics and just do some tweaking and stuff on it. I mean, say if I was to maybe put this entire, let's say if we put it all on medium with some setting. Actually, on. let me turn off the motion blur. I'll send them. Most likely place would be the clinic. 
It's in pretty stark electric space and provides the best, best medical, medical services, services credits can buy. Can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal so place, an ideal someone place for someone trying profile. to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on... Okay. Most likely place would be... Oh, they also guarantee privacy. Ranger Ben Armistead. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Based on what okay. you've learned, Ranger Autumn McMillan, uh, just remember, that's so outside Free Star, Star Collective space. space. So we've, so we've got, got no, no jurisdiction, jurisdiction there. Oh, well. They haven't passed. Yes, we're done here. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, we still got one more thing. What? Oh, he's got another thing. Welcome back. Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. Now that's how a ranger that's should how a think. ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Uh... Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow, follow up, up on. And I have a guess. I have who a Marco guess who Marco might, be. might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's, She's a technical genius, genius an and an expert. I can give you some background. All right. Okay. All right. How can I help? Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Free Star Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. Okay. Stairs. Just make. <clears throat> it's warm today, guys and girls, as well. Hope everyone's having a uh, good day as well. Or good morning. Back on the ship. Make robbery sound. Okay, so we've got a little extra frames. Not as much, but it'll do. to 38 frames per second. Come on, let's get out of here. Alright, so I'm going to get to this planet and I'm going to save it here What's for the green? time being, but for what comes next? once I can get to the planet, it should be good. Oh, no, I'm going to speak to some planet. How are you, Dusty? There we go. Out here. Let's get to the chopper. So this is on PC that I'm playing at the moment because I'm trying to get as many frames as I can out of it. But uh, I mean, obviously, this is this card. The 2080 is. A what, what could you call it? A 1440p card, but I'm working on it on 4K, so so kind of kind of cool to to sort it out. And I thought I just had shit done that one. So 
have a look at the missions. Mm. Right after landing on Neon, I encountered a man named uh, Nesha Omani being a apprehended by a security for possessing aura might be working uh, worth talking to him in neon security uh, power from beyond there's a large anomaly on a distant planet that matches the signature of the one artifacts I need okay so let's get to this one we'll go in this time to some Danny. Oh, it's an unexplored route. Okay, so how do I get around here then? Olympus. Okay, so we can jump from there and then get to the next bit to get Alpha Centauri. Just basically jumping from place to place just to get the adventure. Just open the levels are not quite higher as the levels. Because we're going to need some serious firepower otherwise. Ooh, okay. Captain's 2. Star system. Okay, so we've got one more star system to jump to, to get in there, here we go. And then we're finally there. I think it can only jump basically 30 light years. In just like one jump. Never know, you can get probably faster ships at some point with the other things. So I could do up to like a uh, hundred light years or something. Ooh, moon of Eridani. Okay. Scanner anomaly. It's gonna be 
an interesting one. The atmosphere might be different. Oh no, I don't want to take off. No, no, mate. Oh no. Now I've got to try and come back on. I keep pressing the white button every time I'm going to look at the thing because it's supposed to be the X button. That's the second time, third time I've done that. Level 12 as well, so we're not like too high up on the levels, but we're getting there. So. Still got the same ship as well, but we had before. There we go. Right, press the X button. Oh, okay. Sky is a lot different. little moon there behind the actual clouds. Okay, so we've got these little pulses that we've got to follow. So it's like Temperature is four degrees, so that's not too cold. this way. I could run a bit faster now without getting like uh, out of breath from the actual uh, heavy lifting. Because I've got rid of a lot of my weapons and stuff. Okay, so there seems to be something over here in this direction. Okay, there's something over there sticking out. Looks like a statue or something. Or is it a rock?
340 meters to go. So basically a lot of walking to do. I was got one of eight resources. Okay, so it looks like that thing over there. That's gonna be crazy. Fast travel there. Oh, that's the frontier. And so that'd be the beauty over here. Okay, you can see it like literally fluctuating a lot now. mission quickly and we will wrap this episode up guys and girls okay so yeah this is the one where I've got to collect all these things that fly around okay so which my friend uh, Katie was explaining I have to jump through all these little things just to get the artifacts. So you have to basically get them. Just walk through. There's one down here. And then they come, uh, it goes around real fast as soon as you get them.
change this so you have to uh, collect them. you need for that one then. Complete the previous rank. That's what I just did. Did I not? Uh, no. I guess I didn't. Um, oh, so I thought I'd uh, one skill point to put on. Unless they cost more, the skill points. skill points to this one. Save this here, guys and girls. Been 20 hours and 50 minutes already into this game. But if you guys and girls enjoy it, do leave a like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe. This has been part five uh, in 4K and stuff. But I'm going to try and sort of get the frame rate so it's much better. I'm at the moment it's 53. So I mean, that's not too bad considering. It depends, I suppose, on what you're actually doing and how you're moving, whether you're moving left or right, or what is in the distance. This doesn't seem to be very much. This kind of looks like something out of, um, uh, what's it called? The Sands of Time. The Prince of Persia. Because it's got that sandy style desert look to it. But anyway, cheers for watching guys and girls. It's uh, 1.04 in the morning now. And I will see you on the next episode, guys and girls. 